Begin the installation by taking your AP Systems microinverters, tools, and other equipment up to the roof. Leaving your microinverters in the box until they are on the roof and ready to be installed will protect the units from damage and improper handling. Don't carry your microinverter units around by the cables. Handle them only by the enclosure. On the outside of every individual box, you'll find the unit's serial number and UPC code on a small sticker. You'll use these numbers to input the unit numbers in your ECU. That's the Energy Communications Unit. If you do a large job and order a case of microinverter units, you'll also find the serial numbers for every unit in the lot on the outside of the large packaging. Using this information, you can inventory your microinverters quickly and easily using a hand scanner and store it in a file, or set up the array before you even leave for the job site. Okay, let's unbox a YC500. On each YC500 microinverter, you'll find two DC in cables to support two 60 or 72 cell PV modules. The connectors are industry standard MC4 type for DC only. You'll also find the AC daisy chain connections and the ground clamp. You'll use this to connect the external ground cable to the unit. There are two sets of removable stickers on each microinverter. Once you have the microverters placed, you will remove these stickers from the unit and place them on an installation map for future reference of the system layout. 